Forbes magazine has an eye-opening new list of the world's richest people, the richest of all for the fourth years in a row. Is Carlos Slim, the Mexican telecom investor. Microsoft's Bill Gates is number two. And number three is Amanco Ortega, head of the Spanish retailer Zara. He knocked off Warren Buffett down to number four. It is the first time Buffett has been out of the top three since 2000. Software giant Larry Ellison of Oracle is number five. And there are a record 138 female billionaires on the list. One of them is Chinese real estate developer Zhang Xin. When she was a teenager, she worked in a factory. Last night on 60 Minutes, Leslie Stahl spoke with Zhang about real estate, China's 30-year rise, and democracy. You know, I hear a lot in the U.S. People praise, you know, Wall Street people praise state capitalism in China. Look at how efficient things get done, decisions get made so quick and so effective. It can roll over a, a policy overnight nationwide. And here in the U.S., we need to go through Congress, Senate and debate. And, right. you know, I have to say for a Chinese living in China, Chinese, if you as one thing everyone craves for is what? It's not food, it's not homes. Everyone craves for democracy. <laughs> I know there's a lot of uh, negativities in the U.S. about the political system. But don't forget, you know, 8,000 miles away, people in China are looking at it, longing for it. Do you think there will be democracy here? Let's say I'm going to put a time frame on it in 20 years sooner. You're an optimist. I am. <laughs> In that interview, Zhang said she doesn't believe a real estate bubble could seriously damage China's economy. This morning, however, Chinese real estate stocks took a dive after the government announced a new 20 percent tax on home sales. Last night on 60 Minutes, Leslie Stahl found significant evidence that China has far more skyscrapers than it needs right now. So this is Zheng Zhao. And we are on the major highway or the major road, and it's rush hour, and yeah. it's almost empty. Gillam Tulloch is a Hong Kong-based financial analyst who was one of the first to draw attention to the housing bubble in China. He's showing us around the new eastern district of Zhenzhou in one of the most populated provinces in China. Not that you'd know it. We found what they call a ghost city of new towers with no residents, desolate condos and vacant subdivisions, uninhabited for miles and miles and miles and miles of empty apartments. Why are they empty? I, I've heard that they have actually been sold. They've all been sold. They've, They've all been all sold. They've all been sold. They're Absolutely. owned. Owned by people in China's emerging middle class who now have enough money to invest, but few ways to do it. They're not allowed to invest abroad. Banks offer paltry returns, and the stock market is a roller coaster. But 15 years ago, the government changed its policy and allowed people to buy their own homes, and the floodgates opened. So what they do is they invest in property because property prices have always gone up by more than inflation. And so, they believe it'll always go up. Yeah, just like they believed in the US. This is really completely, totally empty and it goes up. Gillum took us to this shopping mall that's been standing vacant for three years. Can I find this all over China? Yes, you can. They've simply built too much infrastructure too quickly. But I see KFC behind you. Yep. I see Starbucks over there. I see some other very recognizable American franchises coming in here. Yep. At least they, does that mean they have faith that, that this is going to ignite? No, these are all fake signs. This is to give potential buyers the they're, impression of what it might look like if they moved in. They're not real. So KFC didn't they buy haven't. this space or rent this space? No, they haven't. Starbucks? No. They just put the sign up? That's right. It's, it's all make-believe, non-existent supply for non-existent demand. Mostly about real estate, about residential uh, homes rather than construction of office buildings. Well, except there, there's a, a great example of a ghost city where China has just developed and developed, and there might be a burst, a bubble burst. Incredible to think about that. All right.